gonna do a commentary because digital art literally takes hours. Who wants an hour long of me just drawing? I draw in silence actually, that would be really boring. Okay, so um, let's dive right into it. Crack the track, please don't sue me. <laughs> doing my review, I will be putting a speed paint that I did using Paint Tool Sai. So you guys have a visual on what Paint Tool Sai looks like and while I'm talking about it, you guys can look at something else other than my face. Okay, but first, what is Paint Tool Sai? Paint Tool Sai is a graphics editor slash painting software by Microsoft. I actually have no idea about the software's history aside from the fact that it was made by Systemax Software in Japan, as I recall, and it was developed in August 2, 2004 and was released on October 13, 2006. I actually discovered Paint Tool Sai back when I was in 7th grade because I was looking for softwares that I could use to do digital art with, but I actually, to be honest, I only took digital art seriously back in 8th grade. But I've been using this software for at least almost 5 years now and I guarantee you there are no regrets. I still use it till this day. I love it. Also you might realize I'm speaking too much in English. It's just that I'm used to speaking in English when I'm filming by myself. Also Paint Tool Sai is not actually free. You can get it for at least $55 to $65 depending on where you live. And the truth is, my paint tool size is not the original one. It's a custom. I mean, it was from. It's like the original one. It's just a pirated one. I don't have actual money for the original one, and it's custom. It has more brushes. If you look at, if you look at the brushes on the left side of the video, you can see beside the navigation panel, you can see a variety of brushes. This is why I chose the custom one because I don't really need to make my own brushes anymore since there are already custom ones made. That's another feature of Paint Tool Sai. You can actually create your own brushes, custom brushes, so you become you can be comfortable with whatever it is you're doing on Paint Tool Sai, of course. Okay, so for the actual review, Paint Tool Sai is actually really easy to use. It is good for beginners since I used this when I started in digital art and like I said, no regrets, I still use it up to this day. The next is, it's simple layout. You can see that, um, you can obviously see that the layout of Paint Tool is really simple and organized. That's why it's the best software for beginners. You don't have to worry about being confused on what to click because everything's laid out there for you. Probably one of the best features of, of Paint Tool Sai is the variety of colors it gives you. Well, I guess most drawing applications or softwares gives you a variety of colors to choose from, but honestly, it's one of the best features inside because you can see the color wheel where you, you can pick any color you want and in the middle of the box, you can pick which shade or hue you want your color to be in. It isn't really diff difficult, you just gotta use your dropper. <laughs> Is it called dropper? Oh god. Color picker! <laughs> okay, next is... My favorite part, brushes. So, so since I already mentioned it, my size is a custom one, I have a variety of brushes to choose from. And personally, my favorite one is... The one you, uh, you'll be seeing me use used the most in this video is the custom brush called spicy one I have no idea why it's called that but I like it it's good for line art and the watercolor brush since you're going to see me use that when I blend the colors in this speed paint okay another thing like Photoshop paint tools I actually supports the layers system so you don't really have to worry about drawing on just one layer you can use up to at least 256 layers Wow, you can actually organize it using a folder or na by naming it. I don't know, depends on you, but in my case, I don't know since I'm too lazy for it. Honestly, some people compare Paint Tool Sai and Photoshop. I have no idea why they do that, but 
I guess it's because Pito Sai is pretty much like a simpler and more basic version of Photoshop, which is understandable since I don't really know how to use Photoshop and Manu at it. Unlike Photoshop, it doesn't really feed much data, so you're free to do whatever you want while using the program without the worry of your program crashing or something. Haha, <laughs> no shade though. I'm really just a noob at Photoshop. Okay, so last feature, tablet compatibility. The tablet compatibility of Paintosa is actually great. Like, it gives you this vibe na para nagdo-drawing ka lang sa papel since it supports pen pressure. Also, it lets you adjust the stabilizer. Stabilizer yun yung kung gusto mo na mabilis ba yung pag-drawing mo or mabagal yung stroke mo para mas precise. And I love it since it makes work easier. Why am I doing this? Event grade, and I've never really used Autodesk. But hey, there's first time for everything. Why do I keep doing no list thing? God. Uh, most drawing softwares or graph. That's why I struggled with slow strokes. And if you know me, ayoko ng slow strokes.